Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. Happy Saturday, guys. I'm probably looking all wrong. I got a little too happy. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. I don't know if I'm vlogging or if I'm going for one more attempt. And I mean one more attempt at that freaking Popeye's chicken uh, sandwich to review that. After that, I just give up because it, it, it'll be too old then at that point. And um, I'm just sick of it. When you, By the time you, you guys see this, I'm stuttering. By the time you guys see this video, you'll see the one that I did yesterday going out there. I won't even tell the video. I'm going to need you to watch it. But suffice it to say, every time... I deal with Popeyes, like I said in that previous video. It is always like major drama. But anyway, it's a great day today. You probably can see that it is so cloudy. But when I say it's a beautiful day, it's not raining. And it is 72 degrees. Now, you know we've been burning up. We was like 98 last week. So, we have been smoking, as usual, South Carolina. But this is just wonderful. I don't know how to act. And I meant to actually get out of the house um, earlier, but I didn't. And so it is 3 o'clock. I had said that I was going to try. What I had said was I was going to try to be there early. Not too early for the truck. Like the lady said it was, you know. But not too late that all the chicken gone. They seem to have an issue with the chicken being gone. But uh, we are going to see what happened. And I won't, uh, y'all know I can ramble. I won't ramble all the way back to Greer to Popeyes. But I will turn the camera on when I get there. And just please let it not be wrapped around the building. That was my first time going to the Popeyes in Greer. Normally I go when I'm, you know, traveling or in another city or whatever because we didn't have one. So now that it's in Greer, which is the next town over, one of the next towns over, then um, I just hadn't wanted any chicken like that. But I want to try this sandwich because I see some people's like, oh, it's the best thing happened. And then some people like, okay okay and I know I like the uh, Chick-fil-a spicy chicken sandwich because I used to eat that all the time so I don't have to do uh, compare contrast because I'm not gonna be able to eat two chicken sandwiches anyway but I better stop wrinkling my forehead but anyway I'll talk to you in a minute hey guys I'm making a quick stop right now Yes, I like to get a medium iced coffee with the raspberry shot and cream. Alright, anything else? That's all? Go ahead and Okay. Oh man, I forgot to tell them decaf. Let me see, can I catch her? Let me see, can I catch her? Oh shoot. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you, decaf. Okay, so you want the medium iced decaf? Can you tell me what was in it again? I'm sorry. The raspberry shot and cream. Uh huh. You could put one sugar. One sugar? Just one. Uh huh. Thank you. I'm sorry to blow. I'm sorry to blow, but I was scared. I say, well, I don't want her to waste the coffee. It's two and one. Okay. I think I'm out of cash, so here we go. I got like major drama. I keep looking. I don't know. I'm off today and yesterday and the day before. <laughs> I'm silly. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Y'all, I didn't want her to waste that coffee. Because I had two cups of coffee at home. They were small. I had, you know, little cups like that. But I'm not good at sleeping. So it's already 3 p.m. So I was thinking I'm going on my, uh, I'm on my way to Greer, like we already said. But my favorite um, antique store is this way. So I was going, they don't like you to take your bag in, but of course you can take your phone. And I wanted to take you in. Um, they have great baseball cards there. They have great stuff. Sometimes it's like on and off, on and off. It's like an older, older antique store. It's not like the new ones with the booths. And some stuff new, some stuff old like that. This stuff is old. I let some great buys uh, get past me. I let a jade bracelet get past me. I let a Louis Vuitton trunk get past me here. But I wanted to show you the uh, antique store. I got a, um, I bought a Hank Aaron baseball card there. I have a Willie Mays from there. I probably shouldn't tell that secret, but I already told it. Thank you. You too. So I like the raspberry shot in my coffee most of the time i get no sugar today i i got one sugar because it's so big you know one sugar won't do much but it does accentuate that raspberry mm -hmm. anywho so um how about i check my back my bag and then I have another bag, bad habit from my Aunt Ruth, that I carry like with just extra stuff I might need. And that normally has my selfie stick in it. How about I don't even have a freaking selfie stick? So if I take you in the antique store, I'm just gonna be doing this, doing this. So if it's nothing good, I probably won't break the phone out. I'll show you the outside of the building and the name in case you're in this area and you want to visit them. I've already missed the great finds. I don't think I'll ever find again. But And if you like more modern antiques, if that's a phrase, um, my other spot, I'll go in there one day. I bought a lot of furniture from them. Not a lot, but I bought a dresser, an end table, um, Excuse me, I bought my um, chandelier. So that's that's in Greenville. That's actually closer to my house. But we shall see what's going to happen. I'm headed there. Okay, guys, we're here. No selfie stick, like I said. It's a uh, Buncom Antique Small. I show another sign when I get up here. They have the uh, truck out here today. I try not to blind you. So we're going in. Be the in it to you'll be a star today. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm good. How are you? See, the last movie we were in was, was George Clooney. <laughs> what she, did you get paid? Laughed. I don't know what did they pay us. I don't know. A hundred and something dollars a day. Oh, so you really were. Okay. There is a poster over here. Okay. I laughed, and he was for real. No, serious. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot he shot that movie, like, around Furman, right? Yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay. I forgot this movie was shot in Greenville. I don't know if you can see. Not a 
good shot. But it's behind some stuff. I need this jewelry, uh, another jewelry box. I'm having an issue today because I left my um, selfie stick. And I found a great find, although I don't need a makeup mirror. If you need one and it's traveling. I need a office chair and that blue would go, so I may have to take this home with me. Stuff everywhere. I'm just now starting to look, but I have a long, long, long way to go. When headboards, I love these. If you don't like antiques, you might not like them. Hand carved, look like. Maybe not. I'm not sure how they get that in there. But very nice. These are pretty, but I have no idea where I would put it. I want this one. A tea. I guess that's a creamer cup. I like it. Here's a spoon. There's a big spoon. My secret area. Now these I have to I have to take some time to look at. I don't know if even I'm doing this right since I don't have my selfie stick. Oh, look how pretty this chest is. Look at the detail. I probably have to make this a separate separate video. Oh, I keep doing that. Let's see, can I open it? I think it's three fifty. Twenty percent off all items. Here is nice. Asian, I need it for my house. I wonder how much it is. I have to put you down. I want this, guys, but it's not for sale at this time. Very cute. Okay, guys, we are, don't be trying to hide, we are leaving Buncom Antiques, and that is Dan and Gloria, if you have any questions. Dan is a bit um, selfish, so he won't show me the stuff that he's kept for himself, so I don't know about him, but, but see Gloria, see Gloria. Put it up for my seeds, no care for the 
do anything for clout. Anything. Do anything for clout. Okay, y'all, I turned the, the cussing down. I have to take that out, I'm sure. So I just left Bunkum Antiques. I bought some very nice baseball cards. Willie Mays, Satchel Paige, Michael Jordan. Well, they're not all baseball, but you know what I mean. Jackie Robinson. This is an old one. Uh, uh, Al Smith. Uh, this? Lou Brock. Uh, I got a Ken Griffey. I wanted a Ken Griffey. Um, another Jackie Robinson, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, that's probably not worth anything, <laughs> stop it Tracy, I think I bought this one before, Jimmy Brown, and Hank Aaron, and right now the guy who has um, most of the baseball cards, he has I think 20% off. He has a Hank Aaron bobblehead that's supposed, I had a, the air just blasting. I'm sorry, but he has a Hank Aaron bobblehead that's supposed to be rare. It's $50, it's $100 and the bobbleheads are $50, uh, half price, 50% off. And he had a whole lot of them. And I'm not big on uh, sports. I just like collectibles. I've collected stamps, rocks, coins, um, pretty much a lot. The jewelry, antique jewelry, I've collected all kind of stuff. So now I'm on this baseball card kit. And I keep everything, so my next generation will get them. But okay, let's roll. I did buy a, uh, I have to clean it up though. It looks awful. I bought a sterling silver cubic zirconia necklace. And then it was $40 with like 20 or 30% off. The chain alone is nice. I just need to clean it. I may not even use this, but I did buy um, a big stone cubic zirconia like this back in the day. Probably like uh, 2000 or 99 in New Jersey at a different antique shop. It was supposed to be from like the 60s or the 70s. So, thought that. May not wear it, but I know I'll use this chain. Okay, I have to use the restroom so bad. I'll try to put the, um, well, I will. I'll put the time stamp for you to skip all this antique business. Or when I look at it, if it's way too long, I'll just take all of this out and we'll go back to the food and the drink and I'll do this separately but I shall talk to you later why am I saying that you ain't talking to me later we getting ready to go right up the street now to Greer to Popeyes and it's 423 now so they probably sold out I'm gonna be hot but that's okay yeah. I just wanted to see what it looks like very cute you know different qualities in the cubic zirconia too so this actually blends very nice it could be a white topaz though but neither one worth anything okay going to find a restaurant and going to Popeyes for real for real for real guys we're coming up on Popeyes again it's looking the exact same way as yesterday dog it so I'll be in the line. I'm going to try this one more time. As I was just saying, I hope I can see before I get caught in that area where you have like the side, um, you're boxed in with like the sidewalk on both way, both sides or whatever I'm trying to say, where it's raised and you can't get out the line. So I don't want to get that far today. So I don't know whether to circle the building 
and see if you all will see the line on the inside y'all when i get close i'm gonna show y'all but i wanna um know if the chicken sandwich i should try to call them again i wish i could call i might try to call them because i don't want this if yesterday i got caught in the line and i i just went on and got it but today i'm not doing that I'm going to go eat something else. I kind of want um, the seafood and um, red crab. But if I go without my family members, they going to be mad. I was just going to go pick up like a takeout order. Since I'm already in Greer, it's in Spartanburg. They say a new one coming to Easley, so I hope so. That'll be closer for me. But any, anyway, I am... Just waiting in line. I'll be back with you in a minute. Hurry up and wait. Guys, I'm closer now. I'm out of that outside highway line. And so I am uh, in the wrap around the building line. So we're going to see how long this takes. I want to show you the inside, but I'll show you the inside in a minute because somebody looking me dead in my face. Like, don't, don't, don't uh, video me. I'll try to get it this way. I'm going to get it this way. I'm going to turn it just a second. The inside is lit. I mean, people everywhere. I know I wasn't standing in that line. But now if I get up here and I can't get out, y'all, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to try my best to kind of peek first. Okay, let's see. Can y'all see? Y'all can't even see the inside. I'll try in just a second. I'm going to get closer. Can you see that? I don't think you can see the people in the line. Let me try this. That's the line. And I don't even know if that show did that show. We'll see just a second. We out. No chicken sandwich again. That's what they should have had. I meant to say that's what they should have had the freaking sign yesterday. It's right there. Oh, good. Guys, I am totally done with Popeyes. I tell you what, it's just ridiculous. So, of course, you saw, hopefully, I was able to zoom in enough. You saw the sign say, no more. At least they put it on the side door, because yesterday, I got caught. But I done said that. How many times y'all probably mad? Anyway, I don't even know. I'm starving now, so I'll probably, I'm just in the line at um, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I guess I'm on the chicken kick, and I think I'm just going to get something here. Let me see. Ah. Thanks, Susan KFC. Would you like to try a $20 fill up? No, I want to get, um, I'll get the fill up box with the uh, chicken pot pie in it. And then I'll take the hot sandwich, the Nashville hot sandwich. You want the Nashville hot sandwich in the converter by itself? Let me change my order around if you don't mind. Can I get the Nashville hot combo in a in a, a combo? You want know, the tenders or the sandwich? The sandwich. That's spicy, right? Yeah. Okay, I want that. And then I just want a, a chicken. What you drink with your sandwich? I'm sorry. Let me get the Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Uh -huh. And then I'm going to do the um, chicken pot pie by itself. And then the pot side by itself? Yes. They better not say they out of nothing. Okay, let's see. Oh, they have a spicy mac and cheese bowl, but I don't want it in the process. I already tried the Chick-fil-A yesterday. It wasn't as good as it was, so I'm probably off that kick, too. Um, I apologize about that. You said you wanted the Nashville Hot Sandwich Combo with the Dr. Pepper. What else can I get for you? And the chicken pot pie by itself. Okay. 
put this in there but this is the um i guess i should try to get a thumbnail but this is the spicy chicken sandwich here but i guess the spice is like a hot sauce i've never had it it looks like it's um mayo hot sauce Pickles. Let's just try it before I go. I was not expecting this sandwich to be this hot. I keep it. I know going through the drive thru when it's, it takes a while, I should have known it was going to be fresh. This is pretty good though. Um, starving so I'm taking way too big bites with this sandwich being so hot in temperature but guys I might well get this over the Chick-fil-A spicy this is actually good and if you get it fresh like this this is good I guess what I like about it is this sauce is um is not just hot sauce. It's like a mesquite type barbecue uh, taste with, I'm sure, hot sauce in it. Because it's hot, but it has that mesquite barbecue type taste. Y'all see how juicy that was? Working. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Not squirting, but you know what I mean. So I'm in a little bit more better mood now. I have a spicy chicken sandwich. I'm probably not missing anything at Popeye's anyway. And if I am, I'll get it when I go out of town. Cause this 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 Popeye's here is ridiculous. But guys, you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching as usual. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Got some for my tea. Bye. Good night, guys. I had to come back. I'm leaving my mom's house. And I am just 
amazed at how good it feels today. I have my, well it's almost night, it's almost 8 o'clock, but 